Morning. Three more teenagers have been indicted in connection to a Gilbert parking garage attack from December of 2022. Kyler Renner, Jack Wood, and Gage Garrison are being charged with felony aggravated assault. These teenagers are the latest in a list of growing indictments linked to teen on teen violence in the East Valley. We've now learned the type of felony assaults they've been indicted for could mean some will go to prison for a while and some might not go to prison at all. Our true crime correspondent Brianna Whitney is here looking into this and here to explain how it works. Yeah, all of this could have a lot of implications as we move forward in these cases. Basically, there are different classes of felonies and depending on how each teen was involved in an attack and if some sort of weapon was used, the exact felony charges vary. We can expect to see a lot of plea deals in these cases, which will have all sorts of implications moving forward. The indictments keep coming for the high profile teen violence cases with all eyes on them. I'm going to tell you a little secret about criminal cases and how attorneys feel when their cases get media scrutiny. We'll answer that in a minute because it becomes important in how these cases could end. Russ Richelsoff is a criminal defense attorney unaffiliated with the teen violence cases looking over recent indictments with us. Tuesday, teenagers Kyler Renner, Gage Garrison and Jack Woods all indicted for felony assault in a 2022 attack in a Gilbert parking garage. They join a list of many indictments we've now seen for all of these young men in a slew of different teen violence cases. But in this case alone, Renner and Garrison are only facing a class six felony assault, the lowest type of felony. The plea offer in a class six felony can reduce it down to a class one uh, misdemeanor. Is that a high likelihood? I, I would say it's a high likelihood. If that were to happen for any of the teens only facing class six felonies, it could be a completely different outcome for them. Generally, the maximum penalty for a misdemeanor charge is, is up to six months in jail. You can't go to prison for a misdemeanor charge. But some of these teens are facing class three felony assaults or robberies, which are considered dangerous felonies. That means there was some kind of weapon used. In the Gilbert parking garage case, Jack Woods was also indicted for a class three felony assault. If convicted, it would be a mandatory prison sentence of five to 15 years in prison. It's likely many of these cases will end in plea deals to either lessen prison time or avoid it altogether. To answer Richelsoft's secret about attorneys' feelings on their cases with media attention, we don't like it. He says that aspect alone could be a factor in any of these potential plea deals from the top prosecutor in the county. Any plea agreement decisions are made at the very, very top of the county attorney's office. The county attorney's office is very aware that decisions made in these kinds of cases is going to be looked at you know, by the public, it's, there's going to be public scrutiny. So that's a factor, you know, that factors into the plea bargaining. Rachel Soft says often in cases like this, everyone involved, defense and prosecution, will agree on a plea deal because it minimizes the risk and unknown of a trial. Basically, nobody wants to lose and a defendant does still take responsibility. He also says a plea deal could be cut in some of these class six felony cases to go down to a misdemeanor if they testify against some of their other assailants in these assaults who are also facing those class three felonies. A lot to unravel. It's a lot there. So, it's a lot, but it's important. Right. So are there any ramifications outside of prison versus no prison time? Right. So if you're convicted of a misdemeanor, you still have the right to vote. You still have a lot of civil rights that you can do. But if you're convicted of felonies, you lose a lot of those in Arizona. You can't vote. You can't serve on a jury. You can't possess a gun. You can't serve in the military. Those are just a few to name. And obviously, we're talking about teens or young mm -hmm. adults here. So those ramifications could really play a part as they are just starting their, their adult life. lives. Yeah. 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 And there's intense media attention on this because there's a lot of public and community interest in the mm -hmm. outcomes of these cases. So, Brianna, we know you'll continue following yes. it for us. Thank you.